for some of my beautiful nieces, Divine Feminine. Welcome back, welcome back, Divine Feminine. I'm just going to find out, it's a, it's a, um, we're going to find out about these three dark feminine energies that surround the Divine Masculine first, because for my last, you know, couple readings that I've been doing, it's showing the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and the Queen of Cups in reverse. Well, all the all the queens in reverse. So, each of you, if your person is dealing with a uh, a karmic ex or a karmic partner, ex wife, baby mama, somebody he had on the side, we are gonna find out what's going on between them. But right about now, first we gonna find out. Um, what's going on with, with the masculines that's dealing with the fire signs, okay? I hope you guys enjoy the view. Um, I'm sitting down here at one of my favorite spots. I love the water. I am a water sign. Scorpio, shout out to Scorpio. Shout out to the water sign. Shout out to the city of Long Beach, California. Okay. So what's going on between this masculine and this queen of wands in reverse is some sort of, it, it, she had this masculine off balance. She had him in an illusion. See the queen of wands energy is a, a feisty little social butterfly, but she don't, it, she don't have respect for others relationships. Okay. She flirted your man right in your face. You know, and she's not she's not um, secretive about it. This is a, a woman who, you know, she will she will just she'll be in your man's face while you at a table or something and suck on a lollipop in front of him, stuff like that. You know, um, she could be a cousin Faye from from um, Soul Food. Yeah, so be um alerted about this whoever this queen of wands is for those of you you know that your person i mean she don't have to be uh, a leo sagittarius or aries but she can be you know carrying that energy okay the the fool came out in reverse see whoever this is if this is his ex-wife his ex-girlfriend or somebody he dealing with on the side or if this was somebody who came into his life before you did divine feminine this 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 karmic energy had this masculine off balance she was doing things to you know keep him from from taking a leap of faith with you or with somebody else or into anything new and um this left this masculine you know going through a world of turmoil because he didn't expect this okay and he's suppressing his energies. He's feeling a little timid right about now. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this divine masculine dealing with the queen of wands in reverse. Tell me about the divine masculine dealing with the queen of wands in reverse. Yeah, she's sucking the life out of him. She keeps him in. She's so dark. If, if this masculine likes to be out in the sun and like we out here right now and we at the beach and we looking at this the uh boats and stuff the the you know the people riding the jet skis and stuff your masculine may like to do things like this and this dark feminine all she does is try to keep this masculine thinking about sex all the time this is how she distracts him this is how she puts illusions and keeps him off balance yeah, she don't motivate this masculine to do the things that a man should be doing. And nothing that he does to, you know, is nothing makes her happy. He can't satisfy her. She's always complaining. Mm -hmm. So tell me more about this masculine and this queen of wands reverse. Friendship, collaboration, and two of cups. clarify this two of cups the two of cups you know 
it, it represents two people equally giving and taking in a relationship. So that two of cups, I feel divine feminine is this two of cups represents you and this masculine. And the eight of cups, I mean the eight of swords just came out in reverse. This masculine is is free from that. Or he he could have freed himself from you and went to this Queen of Wands in reverse. Like I said, the roles can be different. Okay. You can change the roles around. It can be the opposite. But whoever this masculine is, he's free. He's no longer feeling helpless. He's no longer feeling hopeless when it comes to this Queen of Wands. And he's balancing himself and he's resisting. And this is a shock to her. Because at one time she had his judgment clouded. She had him, you know, um, she was sucking the life out of him. And here comes the Queen of Pentacles in reverse who then fell out. So, ooh, so divine feminine, it, it, it always, I don't like to say it always, we got to stop saying it always, but, um, this, the, the readings that's been coming up, it, it keeps showing a masculine with two or three other women and they keep coming out as a dark feminine. Now this just came out as a, a queen of pentacles in reverse and came out. So this masculine is dealing with, a uh, a dark Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, and he's dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, okay? He's dealing with two. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, she's someone who works, um, she's selfish. She's, she's a, a, a feminine who's, she works, she's a, a working home mother. Um, she only care about herself. She's financially independent. success and determination action why is this the, the chariot here for this queen of pentacles some sort of magic or spell work is involved your masculine he may be charming and graceful he may be having to negotiate with this person but see, him him negotiating whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, like I said, this masculine, he's dealing with low vibrational women. If they in reverse, they, they low vibrational. They don't care about nobody but them damn self. They stingy. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is stingy in reverse. The, the Queen of Wands, she's a hoe and don't respect relationships. The Queen of Cups, don't give a fuck in reverse. Don't give a fuck about nobody's emotions. She won't tell you how she feel or anything. She don't care about how you feel. And the Queen of Swords is just somebody who will fucking cut your head off and tell you straight up what she don't like. Okay. And it seems like whoever these these energies are, this masculine is 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 with the sun came out, he happy dealing with them. Maybe he likes darkness. Maybe he likes low vibrational women. I don't know. This could be shocking to you, Divine Feminine, because we have shocking and resistance out here in peace. So for some of you, Divine Feminines, this masculine could be happy with low vibrational toxic women. And you're shocked that he's resisting you over these, he's, he's you know, resisting you over these three, two or three dark feminines. Because they're, 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 they're like the, uh, I don't even like saying it. I hate saying it, you know, like the, the females that that's in, in the industry, they're low vibrational. If they out there showing titties and ass and all that skin and you know, that, that, that's dark, that's low vibrational. Okay. And this is, this is, that's thought energy. You know, the females have to sleep with all of these men that's what's going on and that's what these masculine they see this shit on 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 all of the rap videos and the and the shit the country western all of them sex sales as they say and now he's feeling stuck trying to be perfect yeah trying to be perfect with these two feminists this queen of wands in reverse and this queen of pentacles trying to be perfect and now he's stuck they could be resisting him now because he may you know um, wanted to start a new beginning with you, Divine Feminine. 
but they are, they're trying to stop that. This masculine has a lot of money. And he could, he could, some of you, he get his money um, from a good job or inheritance or fin financially, you know, stable. He has material, material wealth and all of this. Some of you, this masculine has all of these things, but he gets it from the streets. So take it where it resonates. Divine Feminine, you could be the Queen of Wands energy. I mean, Queen of Swords energy, upright, independent, sets clear boundaries. You cut throat. You have. You sit out. Um, direct communication. You don't hold back. Okay. This could be shocking to this masculine. You didn't. You didn't said. You didn't set some clear boundaries with him and resisting him, and you're at peace. Yeah. And you're free from him. Yep. He wants, he's, he's wanting, yeah, he, whoever these other karmic energies are, they know that this masculine wants to try it again with the, with divine feminine, with the eight of cups in reverse. That's, that's trying to start, do something one more time, or it can mean somebody is undecided. Should I go back to this person or not? This is how they're feeling. Okay. They don't want you to walk away, divine feminine. And this is a shock to them that you're resisting them. Mm-hmm. person don't want you to change they don't want to change they don't want whatever they had going with somebody else to change i guess they they're picking up that selfish energy i'm picking up selfish energy yeah manipulator someone who abuses their authority this could be that this is that the, the feminist that they're dealing with they manipulate this masculine and your masculine he could be like a knight of cups energy very you know, charming, graceful. Um, he has a big imagination. He may, like I said, he may be one that, that likes to go to the beach. He may like birds and stuff and things of nature. He may have a lot of pets or something. Okay, for some of you. Some of you, you're masculine. Um, he may have a, a, a sword or something, a real sword. Um, if he's an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Yeah, this person, they don't want you to get away. They don't want you to leave them. But you have to set some boundaries with this person. I don't think you're thinking about them either, Divine Feminine. Nope, you're not. You're not desiring this person. You're not craving this person. You don't want them. It's over. You done cut cords. Yep. You done said farewell to this person. And this has them stressed out. And they falling apart. See, they 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 feeling hopeless because they thought whatever breakup they had between you or whatever they did, that you was gonna be feeling hopeless and helpless. But you set some clear boundaries and you got in that Queen of Swords energy, and you set the record straight. And now they falling apart. <laughs> they going through a lot of confusion. Mm hmm. I can't. I wish I could show you all the cards. I can't. I can't show you the cards. My my mirror is my my windshield is right in front. Okay, tell me tell me more. Somebody's false mask came off. Yeah, if this person was pretending. Um, they false masks came off if they were trying to play mind games with you if they were trying to use these these two karmic feminines to make you jealous you stop waiting on them you you cut the cycle off it's over I mean it is over and this is stressing them out they feeling hopeless they falling apart they're off balance in a distorted energy yeah which is they they thought that whatever they did was gonna put you in that energy but see, you healed and you walked away. You closed your heart off. You stopped being vulnerable to this person. You stopped showing empathy to this person. Yep. Because you seen that they wasn't, you know, devoted to you. Now they see your beauty. 
and they wish that they hadn't abandoned you. They wish they hadn't walked away. They wish they hadn't left you out in the cold because now they see that you're a divine feminine and they're dealing with a, a dark feminine and they didn't use their intuition. Mm -mm. Now they want to return. See, now they're seeing the difference between the dark and the light. And this has them in pain. Mm -hmm. Pain, pain. Go away. Come back another day. Don't come back at all. This person, they want to bring you a flower. They want to apologize to you because they wasn't loyal to you. You couldn't trust them. You couldn't believe nothing they said. You couldn't rely on this person because they was always out there in the pursuit of thoughts. But they didn't want you to let go. They didn't want you to remove, to remove them from your energy. And they are suffering the consequences for this. All because they didn't want to be in a commitment to you. Which, you know, was depleting you. You, Some of you, you were driving a distance for this person. Because you was deeply in love with this person. You wanted a connection. And it's like, every time when you try to get this person to show you some emotion, they would build this cold wall of ice to where you couldn't get over, you couldn't un get, and get under it, and you couldn't damn sure go around it. Okay, but now they want to build that, they want to um, tear that, <clears throat> they want to get an ice pick and knock that wall down. A curse out here. And we see somebody, you know, they tried to, to curse you. Some sort of witchcraft. Clarify this curse, this witchcraft. So you wouldn't awaken or so this this queen of wands or this queen of pentacles is doing some sort of spell work or some sort of hex or curse <clears throat> to keep this masculine from waking up. Pisces energy with the hangman out here. So yeah, these so apparently divine feminine you when you came in the picture whoever these two feminines are they're two feminines you know that this masculine apparently he when he met you he stopped talking to them and this is what's the fucked up thing about these karmic women they go getting mad at the woman that the masculine chose over them and some of you know it's like they chose this masculine chose them over you it's different for everybody but you know, people, they what they do, they get mad when the masculines do choose a divine feminine over them. And they still get mad if the masculine chooses them over the divine feminine and the divine feminine is still in this masculine's energy or this masculine is still in divine feminine's energy. That's when they start throwing magic and shit. Paying practitioners to, you know, curse you. To, to doing breakup spells and shit, death spells, moon magic. That's because they're desperate. That's that's it, and that's no insult to nobody. That's the cold hard facts. If you're out there and you're doing mass doing magic and spell work to keep a man or a woman, that means you have low self esteem. Because you have to mess with somebody's mind to make them want you so that means when you these karmics or whoever you are if you watch it in here and you doing this kind of shit just know you you must be feeling at the lowest of the pits and i'm not trying to insult nobody i'm just telling the cold hard facts to where you go and do spell work on somebody what does that say about yourself you think you ugly because they don't want you just because they don't want you, that don't mean you ugly. Just because they don't want you, that don't mean something wrong with you. It's something wrong with them. But what these women will do, they will go and attack the innocent person. Divine feminines don't even be knowing because the majority of the time, divine feminine, if you know they got a man, I mean, if they, well, damn, if they got a man or a woman, whoever they are, you ain't gonna fuck with them. And see, this is why these karmics, they get mad at divine feminine because Divine Feminine ain't, ain't gonna fuck with no married man. She ain't gonna fuck with no man who's in a relationship. Um, he may have kids, but them kids gotta be a certain age, you know, for her to fuck with them. Where these karmics, they don't care. They're disrespectful. And they don't care if, if, if it's a short 
term breakup between somebody. You know, if you got a child, they won't even give the, the person, this man or this woman time to grow to love this baby together. They quickly come in and snatch your baby daddy or snatch your baby mama, which could be your divine partner. But that's their job. They were sent here to do that. This is where the healing process comes in and where it comes to the point to where your masculine, these type of energies will awaken him to his true divine feminine. He's got to go through the, uh, the long, dark hall of karmics. He got to go through karmic land. He got to, to know the difference between a karmic and a divine feminine or a divine masculine, same thing. A feminine energy, she got to go through karmic land too when it comes to, you know, the masculine. Same thing. It's vice versa. So this masculine, he got this queen of wands and a queen of pentacles. So I'm going to be doing a, um, the next three readings is going to be about the masculines dealing with all of these different queens in reverse. Then we're going we gon we gonna get on and talk about the, the dark divine feminines, the feminines that's that has the power of divine, but they use it for dark. I'm gonna do a reading about all of these queens because this is who these masculines are getting hooked up with. And they think they divine and they be karmic energies. Um they get pregnant by them, you know, to keep them attached to them. Um they cheat. They do, they just low vibrational. These are the women that be in these clubs. They be at bars and parties and shit, motorcycle hangouts, street races, and you know, at the park late at night doing shit. I've been there, done that, you know, but I realize it's a karmic energy and I stay away from them energies. So that's what Divine Feminine is doing and she's at peace right now. But right about now, this masculine, he's going through some shit with two dark feminists. You may want to look at the other video that I uploaded a couple days ago. About two or three. They keep showing me and keep saying the thing. Saying the same thing about these these masculines. You know, well, the divine collective, male or female, getting with karmic energies that's, you know, low vibrational. And they're low vibrational and they were sent into your life to stop you from, you know, going on your journey. To stop you from going you know, towards your purpose here, because we all have a purpose, whether it's karmic or divine, we have a purpose, and the karmics are here to stop the divine from going on their purpose, karmics already getting, they, they getting their pay, but they getting karmic pay, divine, we, they want to keep you from getting the divine pay, because they are jealous of that divine pay, all right, put in the comments, divine pay, I receive my divine pay, I claim my divine pay in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out.